I used to work there. Did you? Yeah, I worked there for about four years. Yeah, yeah. 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 Victoria Bath. Yeah, lovely building. Yeah, yeah. Fabulous. beautiful. Full of cockroaches when I worked. Was it? No. <laughs> Terrible. That's as frightening as that. So what, I'm, so what I'm doing now, I'm just putting in like flags and things. All I'm doing is just dragging me, um, dragging me um, palette knife across to create a bit of uh, movement. It's a nice medium rather than painting because when you're painting it goes all bubbly. But if you've got the palette knife, just quick movement and then do it as a coming towards you. Have you ever gone through? <laughs> no, no, not yet. <laughs> oh, that's, I can see the effect. Yeah. So you can get the effect yeah. of that. Yeah. Um, and I'm just, just going to... I'll show the camera in a minute. Um, so I'm putting in yellow... yellow yeah. Um, the ones we all ate, bloody double yellows. Putting them in. Yeah. Do what? Oh, yeah. well, well, did stick, man. If you see me paintings, homeless. there's a few homeless people on there as well. We have oh, dogs. Nice so what I do, I'm trying to do a modern twist on Lowry, yeah. uh, but in my style. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I kind of do in a modern way. So that's what I kind of do. Right. Um, so that's the round I've done now. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Not yeah. used any whites or blacks or anything yet. I'll do them later. That's for the camera. If you can, or if you can see that there. Orange at the side. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's not my work. <laughs> no, you don't mind that. That's that, the artwork. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, you know it's original. Mm -hmm. I've took that off. Yeah. No. no, no. Leave that on because it's, it's all part yeah. of the painting. Oh, wow. So it means because um, you can tell like life or grace. They, they always have perfection. Mm. I'm not perfection. Yeah. I'm far from it, in fact. <laughs> By the way, I'm his manager. Anybody watching? <laughs> <laughs> right. So now I'm going to do um, get a bit of yellow. If we can that open, I'll get to use that one. Naples yellow. Bit of Naples yellow. Nice right, bright colour. Right. I'm going to do the. Um, the tram with the lights and also the buildings here. Um, that's an old, an old building, so I'll, <coughs> I'll put in maybe dark colours. So, where are we? I'm gonna. gonna I'll give you a drawing because you might get lost. <laughs> <laughs> are you gonna multicolour the the panel on the building that's the glass building? Yeah. yeah oh yeah. 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 I'll be doing doing that. Um, what I do? What I tend to do is I get all the, the lights first, kind of mix them in different colours because that, you know, you don't, as long as they're nice and nice colours um, and you kind of mix it about, I'll use a bit of palette brush in a minute, palette knife in a minute as well. Sorry about that, well there you go, right there, and that. Like I say, it doesn't have to be perfect, it's just covering um, where you think the where you think the um, tram lights are, right? Done that. I'm gonna go give a bit of that on there, a bit of colour. Right. So next is when I put me white. Get a bit of white. Get it on there. I'm gonna give it like a flick. It was always like. Bit of glass. Bit of glass on that. Gonna be just tiny bits of flakes on there. So that's like giving it because um, you build up your buildings with, uh, from that then. So I've got to uh, show that again. That's that. Mm -hmm. Can I do that? I like say I'm not teaching you how to paint, just the way I do it. Yeah. Um, right, let's get this building in then, yeah? Right. Should I tell you a bit about Lowry? Well, well I've, uh, I've got on here as well, I'm doing it. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My dad met him once. He was very miserable. Yeah, yeah. Very miserable. Yeah, he, he's very. Him. So I'm the opposite with uh, with that. I think. <laughs> but um, I kind of like like his work. Um, right, let's just get me this. Right. So I'm just got a guide on here now. But that's how you saw people coming out of work. All bad enough. Yeah. So, kind of, well, so this is um, a bit where you just need to be kind of putting your <coughs> kind of a bit quiet because I'm just going to concentrate on this bit. So just getting the shape of it. I'm going to fill this out, I'll let you look in a minute, and then I'll, I'll keep showing you. You're rubbing all the bloody lines out. That's the way to do it. And it's just a guide. That's the guide. That's just a guide. So if you wanted to do a drawing, you'd get a pencil and do a drawing. If you want to do a painting, you do it. Well, in my opinion, you do it this way. Yeah, but you can't get the lines straight if you just do it. I mean, you're, you're looking there and you're getting the lines straight. I can't, they're all Yeah, <laughs> it's, I, I know what you mean, because um, yeah. I used to be like so detailed and like, oh my God, you know. Yeah. And um, it's taken me years to develop this style. Yeah. So it's not oh. something you can probably pick up straight away. No. Um, but... Um, how long would it take you to, to learn that stuff? It depends on each person, isn't it? You know, it's like anybody, you know. I haven't got it, that time though. <laughs> you got plenty of time, Tom. You're not going to go around knocking, knock, um... You keep telling me that. <laughs> right, you've got plenty of time, Tom. Right. So I'm kind of like... So on, on this herbis bit here, you've got a bit of a, like a black. Yeah. So I'm going to try and imitate that, really. I'm going to get the, the shape of it. Can I get that? <coughs> Can I mix it on? I'm going to just, it's, it's all about trying to get the colour that you think is right, you know. Just trying to gauge it. Show me in a minute what I've done so far and I'll just add to it. I'm trying to get like a like a shape out of it with a bit of colour on either side so it gives a bit of depth. Um, not being too prescriptive and letting some colour coming through with the uh, palette knife and the paint from underneath from the sky as well and it's just gauging an idea of, um, of where it is Yeah. Yeah. If it was building up colour like that, it'd have to be completely off the cuff. Off the cuff. Yeah, that, and that's it. You've yeah. hit it on the edge. This is I, all off the cuff. I do. I, I don't. The lines on it would. It's going a, a completely against me on CD otherwise. Yeah. 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 It wouldn't count. That's it. It's not going to suit everybody. And um, yeah. like I say, I'm not oh, trying to. Yeah, not trying to teach you how to paint or anything. Um, it's just like what I kind of do, you know. It's just trying to build up a bit. Well, you didn't try to teach me, but you've had no success. <laughs> do you do different paintings for different moods, or do you just stick to what you do? Um, I've done all different types of paintings over the years. Um, 
and um, I've, I kind of do everything in, in this kind of style that I've developed now. Is that um, your typical colour palette that you tend to use? Um, for the sky, it depends on the, because I, I try and do, like you said about a mood, um, yeah. I use the moods for the sky, so this one I wanted to create a nice vibrant mood at dusk. Yeah. So that's what I can so in a way, yeah, that's what I do for the moods, um, to create me because uh, I did, I mean, if you look at my artwork, um, I used to do like uh, browns, because if you go outside at night, it's not black sky, yeah. it's like browns and all sorts of colours, so I had like thick browns and stuff like that, and it looked quite nice on, on these colours coming out, yeah. and it depends on your mood, which one, I did a series of about 20, 30 paintings like that. And I've moved on to more colourful paintings in the sky, so that's the part I kind of the movie, I suppose, yeah. yeah. So it, it, it kind of affects me, really, when I was in a dark, moody place. I'm kind of in a, a brighter place now. <laughs> so, because I suffer from stress, and I'm off work with stress at the minute. Yeah. Uh, and this is kind of what I'm, I do to get over my stress. Oh, um, yeah. like I say, I work for the, the corp, and they're bloody brilliant. You know, they just help me out, no problem. Yeah. Um, you have football games, have you? Hey? Doing a lot of football games. Yeah, I've done. Um, I've done um, football grounds. I do Man City, Man United, anything. You know. So I'm going to get a bit of white on there now. A bit more highlights. Right. So I'm just going to put a few highlights on here. What's that? The chakra? They were saying that your painting, yeah. the bottom and the top, looks like chakras. Your chakras, if you believe in such thing, your energy oh, right, things yeah. in your body. Right. And you've actually got them in the right order. But oh, I was right. saying, the main focus of your painting is green. And green is for healing. And it's also the heart chakra. Right. So if you were looking at that as a spiritual painting, yeah. You'd kind of work out where you were emotionally mm. without knowing yet. So you could, oh, from this painting, from what we've seen yeah. so far, am I in a good healing place, Emma? Yeah, that's your main that, focus at the moment to heal your heart. So. That's, that's what I'm doing, yeah. Yeah. You know, well, if, you, if you put it that way, you're probably right. I'm, and that's um, art's expression, isn't it? So yeah. it's yeah. sublimin all expression yeah. of what's I think there's a lot of subliminal there. things in the world, you know. And plus the bottom part, although it's the same colours, it's more stained glass, it's more yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah. safe. Yeah. 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 Like the church window. Yeah. 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 That's just me. So I'm kind of like... You need to know it's a good perspective. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think it's a good way of looking at it. Are you getting all this down? <laughs> it's on the video. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Now, I've probably not talked too much on this, and I've been trying to concentrate on the main focal point of the building, so that's what it's like yeah, so yeah. far. Oh, well, together, yeah. that, yeah. 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 Wow. yeah. yeah. And then have a look at that on the, the video there. That'd be brilliant, that. That's lovely, yeah. Yeah, it's captured the shape, hasn't it? Yeah. And that's, that's yeah, what... It, that's what and the glass. Yeah. That's yeah. what it's all about, shapes. Yeah. That's yeah. what I work off. If you look at it as a shape, that's what you do, you know? <laughs> Yeah. Sounds like you know what I mean? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right. You know, I'd love to play. It certainly is. So, right, what we're doing. Come and see his agent then. 10%. I'd love to play 10%. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. 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 I'm not you know, that baby, anyway. You showed me that you showed me that last week, didn't you? That what he was going to do. You showed me some of his paintings. Yeah, I think so. <coughs> How the hell did you get all that like that? And well, it's just I know, I'm just... Slap it on. Yeah. It's a slap it on, free, free style. Yeah. And, because um, art, for me, art is about enjoying it. If you don't enjoy that, don't do it. Yeah. You know, if exactly. you don't enjoy it, yeah. don't do it. Yeah. Um, but if you enjoy it, then yeah. by all means, get on with it. Right. They're mixing a bit of white here, because this building's like a creamy... Uh, you construct it down the minute. <coughs> it's like a creamy colour. So I just chuck a load of white on there. Have you noticed you never clean your brush? I've noticed well, that, yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll keep two separate brushes, like one yeah. brush for like the yellows or whatever. Yeah. Uh, one for yeah. the dark blues and yeah. one for the, the blues. And you kind of mix them all around because you all interchange with the colours. Never thought about it. 
<laughs> right. So I'm going to like, like I say, the colours I'm mixing, they're not accurate to the picture. They're definitely not accurate to the picture, but it adds to the effect of what I do. Right. Going to get me old palette knife on that again. <laughs> Right. So yeah. <laughs> no, you know, that's what it's all about. If you get this, because I put my paint on thickly with me, um, yeah. Yeah. with that, it just, it's just nice free flowing style. And you're kind of building structures in. It's all about shapes. Yeah. Shape, shape, shapes. So on there, there's a little bit there. this building in. Just simple yeah. building on that. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. And I'm gonna there's some cranes on the top of that building. Um so the white on there was all I'll do like some nice highlights of white on that. Um Like I say, it's, I, I can't see any lines, no. and it's a case of trying to gauge where you think that they're going to be. So. I just got to get right first time. That's right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's it. In the sky, you've got to make sure you get the... You kind of, it's like a little crisscrossy type thing, isn't it? The, the good thing about using a palette knife like this is you can get sharp edges, yeah. and especially um, with things like this. You know, in the sky. Let's just get it on. Have a bit of brown there. Yeah. A bit more highlights on that. I think a bit there. Right, that's that. Highlight there. So we're having the highlights in now all as well as I'm going along. So um kind of kind of get careful there. Right. So that's the cranes. Wow, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> That's Sim that's just simple. <laughs> it, it's taking me, to be honest, it has taken me a long time to develop this art that I do. Um, um, I just love doing it now because, you know, yeah. just what I do. You see, because you, whereas when I was in the textile industry, you like that, and you, I'm, I don't know if you've seen Liberty Designs. Yes. Very, very detailed. Oh, that. Hair, you know, like a brush of hair like and, see, and the designs, whereas the designer would do the design. We had to give a tolerance of um, on it to, to, on all the all the artwork um, where you had to do it finer in order for when it goes on cloth the dispersal of ink. So you had to calculate all that. Yeah. And you know it depends on the colours and all on the cloth that's going on and everything. And we copper rollers because you used to use them as copper rollers. You actually did it for Liberty, did you as well? No, for the, we we got the designs in from Liberty from sometimes. Yeah. Because Liberty's have their own places now, but we have, yeah. we work for companies all over the place. I see. Um, Very expensive. Oh yeah. Well, that, that a design about that size would probably take about two weeks yeah, to do. Yeah. You know, well, separating all the colours. Yeah. Very detailed, yeah. but yeah. I don't do that now. Yeah. This is this is me now. I think this is better. This is a lot better because you're more free. I do like Liberty today. I mean, I like William Morris as well. That's one of me. Um, Designers are like, you know, his traditional designs are brilliant. Uh, right, where was I? So, right, I'm going to get some. There's some old buildings here that I'm going to put in. Probably not on the, they're not on the picture as much. Um, so, I'm going to kind of do some nice colours on this. It don't matter 
What colour? As long as you think it's right, and I think there's some nice colours on this. Um, so I think I'll add this in here. It's all about nice colours. I get up about half past six. No, it's quarter to twelve. Yeah, but all right, you got I get up early. <laughs> to get up at quarter to six. Tom. Right. And that's that. Just get a block of, block of colour in. Bit of green. Oh. Don't mind if you splash it a bit, it just adds to the texture. <laughs> it's a bit you could it's a bit you couldn't do for a um an easel. Yeah, so, I think I'll probably do that next time when I do it, get on an easel. Um, right. Yeah, you're gonna, it's going to flow down though, isn't it? Um, no, it'll be fine. Eight if you're on an no, easel it'll be fine. Have you done it before? On yeah, yeah, I'm going to leave it to dry, leave it on, on an easel, so. Right. Yeah. I'll sit here for a minute or two. Right, that's that. Right. Let's put this. There it is. Right. Let's get a bit of brown on here. Maybe a better one. A bit of a boom on the thing. It's tomorrow, isn't it? It's tomorrow, isn't it? That's a bit good. He's doing the boom. New buildings where the car lets me. Don't mention it. I used to work round there. Yeah. But he's doing, you know, the saw the modern buildings. But he was saying that he likes that area. Right. I'm just going to put some um, bulk, um, Victorian buildings in here because they're around this area in uh, Exchange Square where the Ubers building is. There's lovely buildings, you know, architectural qualities in there, fantastic. You don't get that quality nowadays. You know. uh, but what I like about Manchester is you get these modern buildings mixed in with the old and it's bloody brilliant. You know. That's what I like. So I'm kind of building it up. I'll show you this building in the minute. I've um, worked on it. Now this building on the picture is very low down, so I've rose it up, give it a bit more height, because uh, I think that benefits this picture with it being a bit more height on it. And it's just kind of giving an impression of something there, you know. Mm -hmm. <coughs> that. Right, so I'll show you that. Oh, excuse me. So I've done that now. Oh, wow, well, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. interested in how you're going to abstractly do We Love Manchester. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I thought it was. I think you're going to have to ask oh, me yeah. about that. No, no. I'll use my palette knife for that. Will you? Oh, yeah. Right. Can we have a look this way? Of course, can you? Yeah. And here. Isn't it nice? It's Corn exchange. It's yeah. lovely. See, so the Urbis as well, as well, the Urbis and the near the Pink Works. Elma was yeah. saying she used to work in that area. Where did you, where did you work? Yeah. Where did you work? Um, CIS. Oh, I work for the co-op. I work for them now. You used to. Oh, my well, God. I'm still with them. I'm just on uh, sick leave at the minute. He still works. I won't tell him you're there then. <laughs> yeah, they, they know I'm doing all this. Yeah. Um, they, they, to be honest, they, they've been helping me out really. Yeah, no problem now. They're pretty good, aren't they? Yeah, they're a good company, and, yeah. and I have suffered from a lot of stress this year. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, they are helping me out. Yeah. Right. This is part of my recovery, I think. Yeah. 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 Right. So I'm gonna this yeah. this area we got we, we love Manchester. So I'm gonna put a big block of creamy colour on there. So yeah. Can you get me whites on there? Just a little bit on. Well no one can I'm not <laughs> interested. Oh don't bother with the drinking palette down on the street. Yeah, it's not for the kitchen, this is for the shed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get to the shed. That's where I am, four in the morning, much less. Have a, <laughs> <laughs> a bit of colour in there, then. Pinky bit mucky. There we go. Yeah, oh, that's all right, nice creamy colour. I'll leave that, I'll do the lighting last and add my characters on later. So that's that. Um, so I'm going to go on the tram now. Um, right.
<laughs> Where's that? <laughs> oh, you say then? Oh, you've got a ticket. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> go for the tram, not oh, the car park. Oh, go for the car park then, Tom. I'm always getting bloody ticket, but I'm not actually. I'm a good bloke. <laughs> So they say. Right, because um, this tram is like mainly silver. Um, I'll put the silver on now. Get a bit of silver on there. So is there anything else in your shed or is it just purely for your. Uh, no, all my tools and just like a normal shed. Have a, have a look at my website, you'll see what it's like. I don't need to put up with you last night. Yeah, you put up with me for all these years, didn't you? So you're struggling to sleep if you're out at four in the morning. Yeah. And turn round. Yeah, I kind of like have problems sleeping. Sleep. Yeah, I do have problems sleeping now and again. Um, on the left. I've keeps him out of bed. Couch is uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah, she's brilliant, my wife. She puts up all with my stress, I tell you. You know, I'll give her so much stress it? over the years, it's unbelievable. Oh. No, it's yeah. far enough in this weather. But, um, she's still with me, God knows why. Oh. <laughs> you know. You probably laughed at your head, didn't you? She doesn't say anything wrong, nice. to be honest. She 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 no, she, she's quite reserved, my yeah. wife. So That's right, yeah. So what are you doing them bloody daft pictures for, she says. Stop buying canvases. That's what she keeps saying to me. How much is one of them coming to One of them, probably about. More on paint than food. <laughs> <laughs> well, the good thing about this is because you can get these paints cheap from. Um, they're about £2 a tube for one of them tubes, which yeah, is not bad. Yeah. You know, for like B&M or Home Base or um, yeah, Hobbycraft. Yeah. Hobbycraft, you get the better paints. Um, more like, expensive for that. More expensive, yeah, yeah but. The beauty of my art is because I, I kind of slap it on in my style um, and the paints are not that, that dear um, and I can like, enjoy doing it this way so so yeah I think it's all right the way I did it. What would you sell that for? 190 this one so um, 190 so oh, oh, we'll have to have a go at this. <laughs> why not two hundred? Half a hard oxygen package. Why not two hundred? Because they keep it under the two hundred mark. Okay. Um, and with the artgallery.co.uk, I'm your own website. Um, so you can like hit the target market if because my art is about not being hoity toity art yeah. <laughs> and um, not being only the rich can afford it. It's about everybody, Joe Blogs, who can have a nice piece of art for the yeah. living rooms. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what I'm about. I try to keep it as low as possible. Okay. Obviously, these, these artists, you know, who charge thousands for something yeah. like this, they're yeah. bloody real, you know what I mean? How much do you charge for sending it? It's about up to, up to 15 quid postage and packaging. Yeah. So um, it comes off the young. Yeah, it comes off. And, comes off. and if it's sell it through the art gallery, they take 35% commission. So, <laughs> oh, do that. Yeah, so um, you've got to kind of balance what. You know, for the time you're doing it, the, the, the paints and the canvas, and I think it's a fair price, that's a bit Compared to um, a lot of... Two weeks money, yeah. that. Yeah, it's, it's, it, it, yeah. Although, um, it takes a lot I've got my own website, so if it... Because I can't reduce my prices on um, my website with the paintings on the artgallery.co.uk because there's a contract I've got with them. Um, so you can't reduce it at a lower price, but if I do any commission artworks, so, um, I can look at doing deals at cheaper prices. Mm. So that's what I kind of tend to do. That's one one of the reasons for setting up my website is uh, to get one for overcoming my stress, mm. getting me points of view across, because okay. I've got lots of points of view on my website, yeah. and you might think, think I'm a bloody nutter when you go where you get on there. <laughs> I'm, I'm halfway there anyway, oh. so I'm halfway there to be a nutter. Well, um, so that's for you lot to decide anyway. Yeah. Oh. Um, but yeah, um, if I'm on my own website, because I've got PayPal buttons on there where you can pay. Yes. Um, and um, uh, yeah, I could look at doing discounts and things on there if it's a commission painting. So yeah, no problem. But yes, but now you've shown us how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> giving the, giving the secrets you know, away. 
I'd like to These have a These paintings, though, would look really nice for anyone that <laughs> has know, a partner and some talent. Yeah, like they nice yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. have something like that. So, so loads of people too in apartments. Um, yeah. yeah, people uh, with money. I've just done um, yeah. a commission painting on my website from uh, a company in Berry. Um, there's one of their mills on there doing it for the logo for them. And uh, they loved it when I took it up there. Yeah.